As kids, we were told that exercise was basically the best thing ever, and getting high was just about the worst. For many of us, growing up meant realizing that exercise isn't always so great, but getting high definitely is. I've heard. The good news is that there may be a happy medium for those of us who enjoy working out, but also wouldn't mind a mild buzz every now and then. It's called a runner's high. All right, I got the requisite jokes out of the way in the introduction. So from here on out, I'm just going to give you the straight dope. That was the last one on this athletic phenomenon. In this video, we'll look at what exactly a runner's high is and whether or not there's any real science to back it up. While the experience seems to be unique to the person, a runner's high is said to feel like euphoria. Runners have reported that they feel like they didn't have a worry in the world. Even nagging pains seem to disappear when the runner's high takes hold. No matter how long they've been running, the high makes runners want to continue almost indefinitely. Is runner's high real? Here's what the science says. Now, before you put down your bong and pick up your running shoes, kidding, let's look at what the actual science says about the reported sensation. In short, it does appear to be legitimate. That said, scientists aren't 100% sure why it happens. I'll tell you what the latest research has to say, and then cover how experienced runners say you're most likely to get this feeling. Studies on the topic have been published since the early 80s, and until recently, the source of the high seemed to be endorphins in the bloodstream. To some degree, this is probably true. We know that exercise causes the release of endorphins in the body, which interact with the receptors in your brain that reduce your perception of pain. They also work as sedatives. Endorphins trigger a positive feeling in the body, similar to that of morphine. And who doesn't absolutely love morphine? Okay, so a runner's high is really just the body releasing endorphins into the bloodstream? Not entirely. Endorphins are too large to make it past the blood-brain barrier, so they can't trigger the high runners claim to experience, at least not by themselves. Recent research into the runner's high suggests that another all-natural molecule your body creates, endocannabinoids, may play a very important role in this process. In fact, the endocannabinoid system, which produces these molecules, is also involved with processing THC. It turns out that intense exercise, like long runs, is a relatively reliable way to get the endocannabinoid system to produce its highly enjoyable molecules. While there's still a lot more research to be done on the topic, these initial findings are strong evidence for the fact that runner's high is very, very real. So how do you get a runner's high? Obviously, the first step is that you actually have to go for a run. However, you'll probably need to push yourself to run a bit longer than usual. If you want to get this all-natural high, the aforementioned research suggests that you'll have to run for at least two hours. You may need to adjust your running cadence. You'll also want to focus on steady-state cardio, maintaining a moderate pace for the entirety of your run. Finally, many runners who claim to regularly hit the high say that it's easier to achieve if you let yourself zone out. So try listening to music that will take your mind off this challenging run. One last thing. It's probably tougher for rookie runners to get high. I don't want to dissuade you from starting a running practice, but don't get your hopes up if you're looking forward to a healthy buzz anytime soon. If you're only able to run a couple of miles at a time right now, you probably can't reach the distances you need for your endocannabinoid system to reward you just yet. Have you experienced runner's high before? Does any of the above sound familiar? Do you think you've experienced runner's high, but it was a bit different? Let me know in the comments section. Don't think the runner's high is real? Think those doctors were probably high when they said otherwise? Fine, I'd love to hear from you too. Even buzzkills are welcome in the comments section. Whatever the case, please like this video if you'd like us to cover similar topics in the future. Subscribe and you'll know the next time we drop a new video. This video was brought to you by Runners Athletics, makers of the best running sunglasses for men and women. UV 400 polarized, anti-fog, ultra lightweight, and equipped with spring flex hinges, these sunglasses will race past the finish line while most other sunglasses fall short. Gear up for your next adventure at runnersathletics.com.